Bonjour friends, it's me, Brady K. Um, so this video is gonna be kind of weird because I'm gonna actually film a makeup tutorial tomorrow and put it on the end of this video. But right now, my my Kylie just came in. I got some of the Halloween makeup, so I figured I would do some swatches, a little first impressions. Um, today's homecoming, so you know I'm cute, whatever. I gotta look good, but um, I'm just unboxing real quick. <gasps> little 3D glasses. So I bought the eyeshadow palette. The, um, I think it's called the Mummy palette. Oh my god. <gasps> it's beautiful. Here it is. OMG. This is so cute. I'm gonna swatch this one. Ooh, the eyeshadow palettes, are, the eyeshadows are literally spinning inside of the packaging. Very good. This one, this one, the middle one. Oh fuck! And I'll do the purple one. Oh my god! So there's the first one. Oh, it's kind of like green and gold-ish. The yellow, cute. This is really dark. <gasps> oh my fucking god! And then I'll just put this one here in between these. Okay, the purple's a little chalky, but that's okay. I'm sure you can build it up, yeah. I'm sure you can build it up pretty nicely. So I also got the two glitter eyes and the packaging is cute. It says Kylie and it's got like green metallic spider webs on it. Um, let's talk. This is literally a Jeffree Star lipstick. Literally the same bottle. Here, I'll just show you. I mean, come on. These are very similar. But okay, it's a common tube. But I bought both of I bought both of the shades. So this is Witch and Famous. And this one is Hello Gorgeous. And it's like Gord. Let's give it some swatches. Oh my god, they have little flat applicators. That's good for a glitter. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful yellow gold. <gasps> this is so pretty. So this is Hello Gorgeous. Ah. I know I'm more excited for Witch and Famous though. This fucking orange. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna use this every day. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, these are so cute. Has she ever released glitter eyes like this before, or is this her first attempt? They're really cute. Let's swatch a couple more of the eyeshadows. Just for funsies. I'm gonna swatch this like orange. So, I'll put that one right here. Ooh, that is pigmented. Um, I'm gonna do this one. Ooh, that's a cool color. It's, real, it's like gray and it's like green at the same time. That's really cool. I'm into that. I'm gonna swatch this, one of the other mattes. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to try these out. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I think that's it for like the swatching phase, but like right, literally for you, right after this is gonna be the tutorial. I will be wearing the same thing, but for me, I have to wait a whole day, so see ya. Hey, um, we're back. Back, ready for part two of this video of the try-on portion. I'm very excited. Um, I've already got my foundation and my concealer and my powder on. I don't have anything else on because I'm losing the light. My eyes are prepped and ready, so I'm just gonna literally jump right in. I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna use that as, like, my transition shade. I'm gonna make sure you tap off that excess. This is very much just a regular old transition color. So far this is blending really, really easy. Um, that was like, one, two, bam. We're done. Um, do the other eye real quick. I spent $42 on this and I would like to get my money's worth. And I also look like a pale freak right now. I ain't got no bronzer on, no blush, no highlight. We are truly just trying to get in this eyeshadow before I lose all of my light. I mean, there's really not that many shades for transition in this palette, 
you kind of really just have to jump into whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to try out Witch and Famous. So I'm going to build up, I'm going to use some of this orange to make this a little more orange. I'll just probably use the same brush. And then I'll probably have to darken it up using something from a different palette because it doesn't really look like there's a good color in here to darken up. Okay, so I'm just going to take this lightly. I probably don't need a lot considering how pigmented the other ones are. They are a little dusty when you, well, they are a little, little dusty when you dig into the pan, but, oh yeah, this is really pigmented. Oh yeah. Yes, this is very pigmented. I'm not really not typing that much into it and it is full color payoff. Look at that, wow. It's just, ooh, like, that's what we've got so far. It's orange, basically straight up to my eyebrows. So I'm gonna need to fix that. So next, I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take this one, this kind of darker, oranger, redder. And I think I'm gonna mix it with the orange up top. I'm gonna mix those to give myself some like outer, just to kind of darken it up a little bit. There we go, that's more what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna take that, um, hey pumpkin, that's a shade, yeah. I'm gonna take that pumpkin orange shade again just to give myself yet another boost. Like, we want high impact orange with this. I'm just gonna run that over again. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Witch and Famous, which is one of the glitter shadows. The liquid glitter shadows um, and I'm going to put that on my eyelid and I'm I don't know if I want to just leave it or if I want to blend it up but for now I'm gonna put it on and let it dry and then I'll decide but let's just see how these work how these work I'm nervous Ooh, this is really cute you can see though where I tried to blend it. Well, I guess I can. It started to pick up on itself. I'm gonna let this dry now. And then maybe do a second layer just to make sure that nothing um, moves anywhere. But so far, this is really cute. What can I use? Is this, this Mama Mia DVD? Will work. Now what I'm gonna do, well, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take it on more of a dense brush. If I have one clean, I've got this one, but it's just a little big. But I guess I could do this one. So, but what I'm gonna do is put some of this on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna kind of blend, I'm gonna kind of tap it into the crease just to kind of blend this. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Let me see what is happening. Yes, 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 yes. Um, it's starting to do what I want it to do. The only problem that I'm seeing is it is falling everywhere. Once it's dry, you do not want to touch it because I have got fallout everywhere. That does not make me very happy because that worries me about trying to add another layer because I have got it all over my under eye. So you might want to do your eyes first with these, but since it's since it dried, it just flaked off, so it didn't like stick to me, but I'm hoping that I can take this and just directly put on a second layer and that it won't flake off or anything. So let's hope for the best. I can't really decide if I'm enjoying working with these so, so far. So I've kind of just got this orange thing. Um, I need to do my other eye and then I will be right back. I think my final verdict on the glitter eyes is that they're really cute but they don't really do well with blending. You kind of have to use them for either a cut crease or you have to go st just go straight on a brush and blend it into where you want. But once it's on there, it's on there and if you try to move it, it's just gonna flake. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take that same pumpkin orange shade 
and just kind of pack it on. But also, tap, 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 tap off that excess. For the inner corner, I think I'm gonna take that yellow. It's called Batshit Crazy. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna take that like bright yellow and use that for my inner corner, this yellow gold. It looks fun. Let's hope that it's not super ugly. Ooh, it's very mustardy. Okay, it's very, very like punch of mustard yellow, which I don't, I'm not mad at it. I just think it's very mustardy. It's very much a specific kind of yellow where if you're not into this mustard yellow gold, I don't think you're gonna be into this eyeshadow. I don't think you're gonna really be into this color. Um, it's also not, it doesn't seem like it's very metallic. Maybe if I try foiling it, I will have better luck. But I, I do like the color a lot. You can see it there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and finish everything up, and then I'm gonna come back and deliver my final verdict. So, um, this is the, the final look. Um, I think I have to say that I'm not the biggest fan of these. Um, I haven't tried this one yet on my eyes, but so far it's really flaky, it's really dry, it's already like crumbling onto the rest of my face, all around my eyes. I think that the more that you wear it, the worse it's gonna get. I was putting on my mascara, it was getting onto my, onto the wand of my mascara. It just, it's not very good formula. The color is so pretty though. I mean, it's so pretty. I love this kind of dark pumpkin-y orange, but so far the formula is not impressing me. But the eyeshadow palette, on the other hand, I am enjoying. I think that it's really pigmented, which is really nice. It blends. If you work with it, it blends. It's not like it's hard to blend, it's just it's not really easy. But I think the more that you work with it, the more that it blends. Um, I'm excited to try out some of the other colors, so maybe I'll do another look with it. But basically, I mean, that's really all I've got for you today. Um, those are my first impressions, my thoughts. I'll play around with it more, but I'm really not thinking that it's gonna be something that I'm into. Um, I really do like the color scheme that I've got going on with this look. I'm into this like dark, this like bold eye and the really nude glossy lip. I'm really into it. Um, comment down below anything that you guys wanna see. I'm kinda sad about these. I was really excited for these. And I'm hoping to get another video up soon. I'm, I think I might f try to film another makeup look. I'm going as a witch for Halloween, so I kinda need to practice my makeup. So maybe I'll do like a first try. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.